wanted to try and take a person who doesn't run at all to their very first park run. To make it even more challenging, I would have just four weeks in which to do it. Thus, I set out to try and discover the right person for this project. It took a long time, but after much searching, I found her. I mean, I watch your videos and I afterwards I'm like, yeah, I could do that, yeah, but it just doesn't ever actually happen. To make this project work, I'd need help. I reached out to an elite runner. Louise Small, known to many as GB Louise, is no stranger to running fast. With a 5k track time of 1540, she knows a thing or two about tackling this distance. Louise would join us to both support and give advice during this one month build up to the finale, the park run itself. Why now? Because you approached me. <laughs> <laughs> I just appeared and went, uh, you want to be a part of this project? Yeah, because I thought if I'm not going to do it, yeah. I'm never going to do it and I need to. Importantly, the person chosen would be the first to ever take on the new jog on training plan. I can't believe you guys are doing this to me. A six week programme specifically designed to take someone from no running to their very first 5K. It's three times. Oh my God. Put together over many weeks with advice from elite level athletes as well as physiology author and lecturer, Dr. Richard Blaygrove. It's the perfect resource for an introduction to running and is available now on the jog on website. So if you or someone you know is interested in getting out there to run and complete a 5 5K, you can check it out at thisisjogon.com. During this project, there were joyous moments oh as well as struggle. This was a remarkably rewarding four weeks in which we were able to witness the fast progression of this individual as she broke through new barriers and ultimately discovered something truly amazing. I'm Harry Morgan, and this is Jogon. I'm excited about it. Hello, Harry here. Her name is Anne Marie, although a lot of people call her Amy for short, and Amy does not run. Day one of the four week project with Amy, who's got the jog on cap on already, yeah. so thoroughly infused. In terms of temperature, Amy, um, I'm sorry, first of all, this was a terrible day to pick as your first day, even though you don't really run as you've said yourself. Deep down, there is something that you think you'd like to run. I would love to be able to be that person to say, I'm gonna go out for a run, mm. but I've just never actually done it. Let's do this. Fresh from the printer, the new jog on training plan was brought out and GB Louise explained the session to Amy. Amy's first session would be five sets of 90 seconds of running with two minutes of walking in between. Beginning with some drills, disaster struck as Amy got a fly in her eye. Once removed, we could start. Three, two, one, and we're off. It's a dramatic start with a three minute walk. So coming to the end of the three minutes of walking and we go into the first 90 second jog. For the first time in a long, long time, Amy began to run. One of the reasons you stood out as a real potential candidate is there's an interest there. And there's lots of people who tick the box of, I don't run, I don't run at all. Yeah. But what they don't then come with is this little spark of something. What I was looking for is just that slight feeling that there's an interest there, something has been said, well, I'd, I'd love to do this, or I, I could see myself doing this maybe, or a wish is quite a big one. And you've used all those terms. Yeah. Where does that come from? What is there deep down that makes you think, I'd like to run? I mean, I watch your videos and I afterwards I'm like, yeah, I could do that, yeah. It's just the motivation, I think, for me. It just never has actually happened. 30 seconds to go and walking. That's great. <laughs> I think partly it's getting used to that discomfort as well, though. Yeah. It's the understanding what that feels like and that it's okay to yeah. feel bad and you kind of just learn how to sit in it. it sounds really fun. So excited. <laughs> so from the two minute walk into another 90 second rep. Amy's breathing was loud and her movements a little stiff, but she pushed forward, putting her trust in the process as we finished another rep. Drinking water in the heat, I inquired. What's worse, legs are hurting or it's more breath? Pacing Amy along the tarmac path, it was quickly clear that a little conversation would distract her enough to make the 90 seconds pass more quickly each time. One of the aspects that makes this a little bit more approachable is giving Amy the company. Having people around you makes a massive difference for a lot of people. There are a lot of people that start out with running and because they don't want to be shown up, they might be embarrassed or things like that. It means they, when they do try, they try solo. And for a lot of people, that's a lot harder. Coming to a halt, the discomfort was clear for Amy. After years of absolutely nothing, no doubt this would be a shock to her system. As we hit the fourth rep out of five. Amy was saying she can feel it in her legs and I was saying, what is it, you know? Is it quads? Is it calf? She's everything, Harry. It's everything. Water break after this one, then a final 90 seconds and we're done. Ah, uh, brilliant. Adopting a remarkably good squat, we let Amy rest in the shade a moment before the last rep of her first jog on session. Final 90 seconds for Amy. Shaking fists to work up the motivation <laughs> and her face flushing red. Brilliant. Amy had completed the last running rep. Fantastic, Amy. And now we finish with a three minute walk warm down. Sun cream on Amy, the jog on cap, keeping her protected. What a brilliant first session. How do you feel, Amy? Tired. I would have stopped ages ago if I was on my own. It was great to have finished the first day. I'm really looking forward to session two. I'm getting through it. So this is session two, but first of all, Amy, I've got to ask you, a couple of days ago, we did the very first session. 
How are you feeling? Are the legs okay? Did you sleep okay that night? I slept very well. I didn't feel anything in my legs. That's really good. So here we are uh, in this woodland, three minute run and then a two minute run twice. So you do three minutes running, okay. two minutes running, three minutes running, two minutes running. And in between each of those, it'll be a two minute walk, which is the same as the first session. Do yeah. you feel any better now that we've sort of got this thing going and we're at session two? No, I feel more nervous today. <laughs> Let's begin. The second session began with the usual walk warm up. It's always so dramatic this part. <laughs> ah, yes, five minute walk warm up. <laughs> Some last minute advice for Amy. You're better off starting steady and thinking when you get to two minutes, I've got a little bit more. And we went into the run. Three minutes, the longest effort so far. What do you think is the motivation and what does that ideal picture look like? I would like to improve my fitness. Obviously, it is at the bare minimum at the moment and I would like to improve that. You're already over the 90 seconds you had. Am I? Yep. Keeping her distracted, we completed the three minutes in the forest without too much issue. And you seemed okay there. I mean, it seemed like it was... It seems manageable. You yeah. seemed uh, in control. Yeah, it was okay. Of course, one of the other factors about running here is it's not quite as flat as yesterday, so we will get the odd incline. It's going to feel a little different for Amy's legs, but Amy is looking good. 15 seconds. Two, one, and into the walk. Halfway. Amy would have just a three and two minute effort left to run. You're doing a different section of forest, something else to look at, a few different trees. Do you think you also so never hit that point where you've seen the change to get that feedback loop where, oh, I'm fitter, so I now I want to carry on. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of people say that to me. You've just got to keep going past that first bit and you'll get there and you'll see a difference and you'll feel the difference. But yeah, I think I just, I give up. It's really lazy of me. I just give up before that happens. So I just, yeah, I never reach that point. Final two minute run. Let's go. There's a point at which you can drink too much water as well. Yeah. I know, I'm trying not to. Amy was quickly developing an attachment to the water bottle, so we would need to wean her off. 30 seconds left of running, and then Amy is done for her second session. All right, five more seconds. One, and there we go. Brilliant. That's all the running done for today. I inquired what GB Louise thought of that run. She paced it really well. We went a little bit slower than the first day. Amy, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling okay. Now that we've kind of walked it off a little bit, it felt more comfortable than I thought it would, definitely. Session two, done. I can do this. You find us driving the jog on van right now towards an area that's quite sandy and a bit of woodland. This will be for session three. Amy there in the back. Amy, I've got to ask you, session three, how are you feeling about this? Yeah, I am feeling nervous. I feel like it's amped up quite a lot. We'll see how it goes. We've already told Amy what the session is. Five minute walk warm up, but then it will be the longest period of running she's done so far. Two five minute blocks with a three minute walk in between and then a five minute walk warm down. I think that second block of five minutes is gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in the woodland area and we're now gonna start the five minute walk. This is always a slightly anticlimactic <laughs> bit. Three, two, one, you start walking. <laughs> Amy was saying that she's already a little bit chillier today. It's probably a good thing, to be honest. It means that you're not overheated and we're gonna slowly start to warm Amy's muscles up with this walk and then we'll move into the five minute block of running, of which there will be two. With the weather threatening to get wetter, we ran some drills. It's not about the speed, it's about just getting through it. <laughs> it's about survival, Amy. No. Okay, here we go. First block of five minutes. Let's go. As Just as the rain starts to pick up, take it very slowly and we've got some nice padded ground. Two by five minutes with Amy on session three. The training plan that Jogon is bringing out is a six week plan, but because of your situation, being younger, being lighter, and also let's be honest, just our time constraints of being able to keep a project for this long, we shortened it to four weeks. Two five minute blocks may have sounded intimidating this early on into the project, but if we were to crank Amy's fitness up to get her successfully around a 5K, we needed to attack the schedule and get her running time up. Right, that's three minutes out of five, two minutes to go. Through here. Oh, look at that. Teamwork. Slick. <laughs> We've worked out Amy has a natural thumb up running style. So it makes it look like she's more okay than she is. I feel terrible. I like the idea of running out in a forest, in nature, and just clearing my head a bit. The rain is really starting to come down now. We've just got 15 seconds left of this block of five minutes. Amazing, there we go. Three minute walk. Well, oh, that feels like the longest I've run. That's really big. Previously, the gaps in between have been two minute walks, but to reflect the length of effort here, upped it to a three minute walk. One, off we go. Last breath. A little bit of undulation here, but nothing Amy can't handle. So we're just trying to relax down this hill. Get some of the breath back. For the first time, we would begin to see Amy really have to push through the pain to get her run done. Two minutes. Just think about trees. <laughs> Try and ignore the pain. Oh. This is great. The brain's saying, we should probably stop now. And you have to fight that part of the brain and say, nope, we're going to finish this. Last bit, last bit. One. Brilliant. Oh. Second five minute block. Look at that. Yeah. Amazing. A big part of this is just 
teaching Amy's head how to sit in those slightly uncomfortable moments. Yeah, that was a struggle, that last. This last couple of minutes, I was hurting. Speaking to Amy, I told her that I had observed a sense of accomplishment when we finish. Yeah. What are you feeling when we do the runs? What are the positives for you? So I'm nervous before everyone. Yeah. And then we start doing it and it's not nice, but I am like, I can do this. I'm getting through it. I'm nearly done. And then afterwards, I feel great. I'm excited for the next run. Louise, how important is it that Amy has succeeded in running two five-minute blocks to represent what she might be able to do at the end at the park run? Yeah, this is massive for her development across the four weeks. Now that we've got a good solid five-minute block, we know that we can start to progress that in the next week. And she coped really well with it, so well done. After that baking hot first day, and now the rain, as you can see, I'm quite bedraggled. Amy's actually looking not too bad, considering, but on cat. I think it's the cat <laughs> keeping it all in. She took it off, boom, it'd be crazy. But really well done from Amy. It's just a fantastic effort. Great to see her pushing through and that gives us more faith and more determination that this project could work because Amy has shown that she can, when the going gets tough, push through those harder moments. Can't wait for the second week. I'm excited for the next run. Amy doesn't know it yet, but today's session will up the ante slightly. A total of 15 minutes running, broken up into three by five minute blocks. Greeting Amy near a village green, she told me about her dipping energy levels and had a mild panic about the day's session. The Book of Doom is here. Of course, this has the sessions in. So this is it, week two. Amy has done brilliantly so far, three sessions, and you actually went for a, a decent hike, basically. It was the Valley of the Rocks. Oh, wow. There's a cliffside walk. Anything on that walk where you felt like, oh, I'm a little bit stronger than I usually would be, or anything, or not yet? <laughs> Nothing that I noticed, no, that's if fine. I'm honest. I didn't think it would be, but you know, you never know. You might have been like powering up the hill, like, yes, I'm so much fitter no, now. No, I was still struggling. <laughs> so I will read you out the session now. Okay. Don't freak out. I'll try not to. It's a slight extension. Today's session is another five minute block. Okay. But rather than doing it two times, it's three times. Oh my god, okay. Now, I think the thing to hold in your mind is I'm doing three of these, yeah. so that means really pulling back on that yeah. pace and just yeah. really keeping it steady and something that you feel, I could keep this up for 15 minutes but broken up. How does that sound? Scary. <laughs> <laughs> is it still a three minute walk? No, that's the other thing. Oh no. <laughs> the plan is to try to wean you off okay. the rest of the okay. bit. So the rest is two minutes. Okay. This is the start of week two, session four with Amy. Let's see how it goes. Dynamic drills led us into the hardest session of the project so far. Okay, first block of five minutes. We're gonna try and do three of these. Super slow, steady pace from Amy. <laughs> People watching this and watch the video series will note that you are not an out of shape looking person. You're slim, there's no weight to lose whatsoever. Is there any kind of active consciousness on your part of do you eat quite clean or anything or are you just one of those quite lucky people? And then it's now it's about building the, the fitness. Yeah, I think I probably am just quite lucky and I hate to say that, I don't want to say that. Two, one, time there. Brilliant, first five minute block done. If you can think about it psychologically, Amy, now, as like that was almost like a warm up and now you're just doing what you did on the last session. Here we go, second block of five minutes. It started with us dodging tree roots. We just don't want Amy to trip over one of them. Along the boardwalk for the final 25 seconds. Really impressed here. That's what we need to do afterwards. Yeah, that's what I want to be doing. Go wade through. I can't believe you guys are doing this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, last five. Five minutes of running and you are done, Amy. I think part of what's happening here is Amy is clearly just breaking through some psychological and some mental barriers. She's driving through, there's a determination on her face and it's clear now that she's starting to understand that she can do this like this is this is possible i think that's what we're realizing today one minute to go finishing by the edge of the water two one and there we go fourth run in just might be able to do this that was session number four of week two and my word do i feel positive now about that it went really really well how did it feel it felt manageable the whole time it was a bit harder at the end let me tell you about the next session session number five what we're going to do amy is we're going to take you to an athletics track i thought you might say that now <laughs> not to... <laughs> Imagine she just goes, see ya. <laughs> and the session is a bit different from today. The only similarity is it's still the same amount of time running, but it's much more broken up. So it'll be a one minute run, one minute walk, two minute run, two minute walk, three minute run, three minute walk, four minute run. So you can imagine we've been going up. Then we start to come back down, three minute walk, okay. three minute run, two minute walk, two minute run, one minute walk, one minute run. So it's one, two, three, four, three, two, one. So those shorter reps. Yeah 
a little bit more pace and the longer reps a little bit shorter. Have you ever run on an athletics track ever? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel positive about the direction everything's going? Are you feeling happy? Yeah, after Friday, as I've said every time, I was nervous. Today's made me feel really good. Like, I managed it and it was okay. Yeah. So, yeah. But you spoke to your mum on the phone. What advice did she give? Yeah, she went, oh, don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> and I said, that's literally the point of this one. <laughs> I'm trying to do as much as I can, so. <laughs> I think you did push quite hard and there was a determination there. So I'm really impressed, Amy. I know Louise was impressed. Looking forward to seeing you at the track tomorrow. Yeah. I am ready to do the next one. Yeah. Together, we approach the track. Amy, this is the first time you've ever set foot on an athletics track. Yeah. First impressions? It's massive. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite big, isn't it's it? It's so much bigger than I thought it would feel. And when you see it on TV, because you're watching elite people run around, they're running so quickly, they, they do a lap very fast. So you yeah. think, oh, it must be this little sort of you know, oblongy thing. You just go round and round and round. And then you, you look over to the other side and you go, <laughs> oh, blimey. all the way over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So an indoor track is 200 metres typically. An outdoor is 400 metres. So about four laps of this is one mile. So it's about okay. a quarter of a mile, very roughly. A mile technically is 1,609 metres. So four laps, 1,600 metres, you're about nine metres off. How does it feel? underfoot to you what's the surface feeling like yeah it feels springier than i thought it would we'll be running in lane one for the actual running of the efforts the nice thing is as you can see there's absolutely nobody around so yeah. you get to do this That's without a, big a crowd. Relief. <laughs> <laughs> so there won't be a, a huge audience in the stadium yeah. watching you just a refresher the session itself one minute two minute three minute four minute three minute two minute one minute the sports days always made me nervous as well so i was quite reluctant i wanted to be that person who could run and you know everyone would cheer on sports day but yeah i was i was very much hiding behind my hair at school amy welcome to the track so amy are you ready i think so <laughs> i feel nervous now <laughs> three two one there we go perfect i am more out of breath <laughs> uh, yeah you will be i think the main thing that i focus on is my breathing that hurts the most I want to stop so that I can recover my breathing. And I just generally feel tired everywhere. Okay, our three minute effort moving into lane one, let's go. It's not necessarily localized to my legs, it's just everything. I want to stop, I want a breather. Halfway. GB Louise has allowed Amy a little bit of water now. We went through the whole weaning Amy off the water bottle stage, which was very successful. But now it means the GB Louise is being a little bit strict. <laughs> Only little sips, not too much. So rep number five, and this is three minutes. For the first time, we were witnessing Amy begin to open up her stride length as the track allowed her to develop a smoother and faster running motion. I definitely feel cool. There we go. stronger mentally. So it's still uncomfortable inside, but you're yeah. learning mentally how to deal with that a bit better. Yeah, which is exactly how you said it would work, really, didn't you? Right, come on, Harry. Five seconds. OK, we're into lane one, ready to go. Two minutes and then one minute left. Come on, Amy! <laughs> <laughs> We're teaching her mental fortitude, and that's always the best way. Anne Marie pushing for that finish line. 10 seconds. Perfect. And we were done. Beautiful stuff. Well done, Amy. <laughs> Great stuff, Amy. Well done. To run a first ever session yeah, on the yeah. track and do that well. Crazy. Mental. She's done so well, like just to throw herself into this whole project and just say yes to everything we've asked her to do. Yeah, amazing. I wouldn't have been able to do this on my own. Definitely not. Being accountable, other people being there and making it fun as well. You're making me laugh. You're cheering me on the whole time. Like we've been laughing so far, haven't we? Yeah. And, well, I've been trying to laugh and breathe at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think that's what people struggle with so much yeah. is that they try and do what we're doing by themselves. Think how much harder that would be. Yeah. So no wonder yeah. people give up. And today you've done 18 minutes total of running. Because we had the two minute jog at the start. Yeah, exactly. 18 minutes of running. We're really starting to eat into that total park run time now. Session number five for us in week two of our four week project to get Amy to her first ever 5k park run well done amy we look forward to session number six i don't know how i'll feel when it's all over i've brought amy to a gravel trail which is a nice big loop that we can do this session round how are the legs today i have felt some soreness the speed i think was what did it it makes yeah. you think it, you, you can't sort of distract yourself with oh lovely tree or there's a yeah. bird flying over it's more you're looking at white lines i always think about, about swimmers and swimming pools they can't get much variation <laughs> and yeah. i guess in a weird way the track is our version of a swimming pool that leads us to here today and the session of itself. Well, have you got any ideas what it might be? Have you, are you working out any patterns in your head? I tried to work out session before the track session mm. and I got it completely wrong, oh, so okay. I haven't tried. <laughs> um, so the session today is three blocks of running. The first one's the one that's the scarier one. <laughs> okay. This is it. The blocks are 10, okay. 5, 5. Okay. 
So it's just that first one has doubled. But obviously, you know this by now, the big focus is pacing. How scary does 10 minutes of running sound? Sounds terrifying. <laughs> Sounds terrifying. But I think you can do it. I really think you can do it. The longest period of time that Amy has ever run for. 10 minute block. Here we go. One, go. Gravel crunching beneath us. Would Amy make it through a block as big as 10 minutes of non-stop running? We've just passed the five minute mark. That's halfway. Exciting. A sharp turn. We were nearly there. Fantastic nine minutes of running. I just kicked a huge rock and nearly killed Amy. She's really got to grit her teeth a little bit. Hi guys. Finding that discomfort. Great running. 20 seconds to go. Oh, it hurts to laugh. 10 seconds. This is so cool. Three. Two, one, that's 10 minutes. Oh my God. Amazing. Do you think how recently, a matter of days and days ago, yeah. you were running just 90 second efforts? I actually can't believe it. Hopefully, Amy and her mind now can think, I just ran 10 minutes, so the five minutes should seem like much smaller obstacles. Yeah, they should. Like they should. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Onto a five minute block, but a moment of worry as we had to stop. We've just had to break from the rules and pause ever so slightly because Amy's lace came undone. Sorry. Okay, ready to go? Yeah. Cool. I thought the whole project was in jeopardy. He said, Harry, my shoelace is undone. I said, that's it. It's over. One and that is a five minute block. Last block. And when Amy's done, she'll have run for 20 minutes total, which is awesome. We're asking Amy to turn at this sign to head back again in this five minute block. And we've just noticed that it does say danger of death on it. Probably not the most motivating message to see on the turnaround sign. You shouldn't be doing this. You may die at your park run. <laughs> this is going to be a struggle right now. I mean, we've just got to push through this last bit and we're done. 15 seconds and Amy is done for the day. And that will mark halfway through the program. Oh my gosh, she's taken off. You can do this at the park run, that'd be great. Abby, what the heck? Oh my word, I can't keep up. GB Louise isn't even qualified for this. Two, one, there we go. That was an amazing spurt. <laughs> To get to that <laughs> Guys, let's do the park run this Saturday. I think she's ready. It always feels like a relief to stop running and also just that achievement that I've done it. I've been able to do it. I've got through it even though it was really hard and mentally I was able to actually get myself through it when I don't normally believe that I can. <laughs> Whilst we would be leaving the second week of fall with a renewed confidence in this project, we had a long way to go and many questions still remained about Amy's ability to complete the distance of 5,000 metres. We would do our best to prepare her, but ultimately, it will be up to Anne-Marie on that start line to make it happen. Well, that was the end of session six and, of course, the end of week two, which puts us at halfway. So it feels only right to present you with your first pair of jog-on socks, Amy. Great running today. Are you feeling any more confident? Yeah, I felt actually really good after that session. Ten minutes of running. I'm really proud of myself. And when I told you at the start, we've got a ten minute block, there was definitely a nervousness. Every time it seems like you do question, but then you almost seem to flip it and you push through and you actually sped up. What happens there? Is that just like a determination and anger? Like yeah, it was. Well, you told me I had to get to a certain point and I had six seconds left, so I had to get to that point. So <laughs> I just pushed through. No, that was great. That was good to see. And I think that gives us real hope for the park run itself, that there is a grit there. There's a fire inside. It's just trying to make you confident enough that you know you can push through yeah. and get to that, that finish line. Check out the Jog On website for training plans and the Jog On kit. This is jogon.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Harry Morgan. That's Anne-Marie. And this is Jog On. I am ready to do the next one. Yeah. Beautiful. You're about to walk off without me. <laughs> I just walk off. So, Amy, <laughs> Amy? <laughs> it means that it feels only right, Amy, to present you with a set of jog on socks. We're going to slowly produce more kit. No, I don't say that. Um, take it feels, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it feels only right to give you your first pair of jog on socks, which you can wear for the rest of this project. Thank you very much. Hopefully, wash them in between. That was terrible. <laughs> I'll try it once. <laughs> Of course, we're here with GB Louise, Amy, and myself. We're here with myself. That wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Louise, of course, was born on one of these. No, that's ridiculous. That's way too dramatic. I'm trying to reiterate just how novice. You know? Well, that was it. That wasn't it. We finished the whole thing. Done. Park right now. Yes. <laughs> Hooray. We're done. Thanks for watching. Amy does not feel great. So... It's all right. We're going to kiss Louise. <laughs> oh, <I'm not. laughs> the finish line is the final stage. Maybe you're... No, I'm just making stuff up now. <laughs>